What's going on YouTube? One more quick video and we're pumped. I mean, I use that word a lot, pumped, because I am. Um, Nats is coming and I'm never, I think, I, I mean, I was excited last year. I didn't know what I was getting into. Um, this year I know kind of what the, the deal is and it makes me even that more excited. I, sh I mean, I'm, I'm not apprehensive at all. Um, I'm, you know, because I had to get on a plane last year, and it's not, it wasn't, it was my first plane ride, and it wasn't my favorite thing to do, but, uh, I'm getting to meet legends like Kenny G on my way there, it's just nuts, I just, it blows my mind on how much stuff I have packed into this week of Nats, so, I am going to be seeing everybody, and I'm going to be glad to be shaking some hands and giving some hugs, because it's going to be fantastic, I'm going to lose my voice again, um, I talked everybody's ear off because I just never felt more comfortable in my life in one spot. And I'm not a young man anymore, so I mean, I felt very comfortable. Um, and it's like I always should have been there. Is that something else? But anyways, we got PC for the win. Nah, this is crazy, isn't it? PC for the win, couple pickups, and rainbow com uh, completion, sort of. So, just little things, and then we're done. Until after Nats, and then after Nats video, who knows what's going to happen. Who knows? It can't be like, last year's Nats video, I I, I went all out. But uh, PC for the win. Got a Chris Harper. I had the Seahawks and Packers. This guy played for both, so I ended up getting the card. But I don't even know if he, he didn't make the Packers team. He didn't make the Seahawks team. I don't know where he is now. But it's out of 499. Chris Harper. He might be somewhere. Um... The only Packard I got a PC for the win, well, thank you, Julian, by the way, it's my first ever Ty Montgomery Jack Cheese. Most of my guys' nicknames ends up being food. Just the way I am. I like food. Anyways, that's his new nickname, Montgomery Jack. So, my first Ty Montgomery Jack Cheese. Awesome. Awesome. Stan, another wide out. We just got incredible incredible wide receiver and the probably the the neatest hit the uh, defensive it's not a packer though i wish it was 20 out of 20 an earl thomas autograph from crown royale trade bait bring it to nats i'm bringing a whole bunch of stuff to nats so no worries if you see it here you'll see it again in nats if you're going so awesome Awesome. Digging the defensive autographs. Um, all right. We're going to do a half. Uh, well, as complete as I can get it, unless I find the one on one. But uh, I picked up the last color I needed for my Jared Aberderis or Abracadabra uh, Spectra autograph base set. Um, here's the black out of five. Boom. That one's not the new one, but uh, I got this in a break. This was this was kind of what started. I did a break for like eight or nine dollars, and I ended up getting two Aberderis's of two different colors. And this is the one of them I got out of ten. Six out of ten, very nice. Picked this one up a while back out of 25, 24, 25. This is the one I just got. I needed four out of forty-nine. The blue. Awesome. These things are great. I mean, for the price you pay for these, these are awesome. I love Spectra. And this is one I also got in that same break. I got the base, silver. So I need to find a nice magnetic for that blue. And I just need the dang 101. So very nice. I, I don't care what anybody says. These things are awesome. The price on Spectra I know is a lot. But buying singles is fantastic. <laughs> I love Spectra. I love it. It has everything I everything I want in cards, other than the stickers. I mean, when some of the some of the things uh, which didn't have stickers like that. But that's okay. But uh, another that I'm trying to do the subset of this. Uh, here's a Warren Mood of the Panini Spectra Hall of Fame. In 2013, Panini Spectra they did a subset of non-autoed versions of all the autoed cards. So, I found one for super cheap, picked it up, and that's what I'm going to try to do. If I see any, I'm going to pick up here and there. I think I have one more coming in. There's like 30 of them. Just something little fun to do. I'm not even going to take it out of the team bag. And, but, yeah. 
just I have uh, been saving all my cash and this one popped up for like two bucks. I'm like, okay, <laughs> just pick it up. So I'm going to try that. Any of you guys got any of them, I'm sure you would have told me already. But Then the last card is um, Luke uh, Drunk Trojan 1 sent me a wonderful card which I needed for the set. He helped me out, found me an Aussie Newsome at trade night, which is so awesome. Um, already put and stashed it away. But in the meantime, at the very same time, another Aussie was up. And I says, if I get it cheap enough, I'll still bid on it because I like dupes. Because what the plan is, is to trade uh, the card in the future for when they have new release. And maybe if someone has something they want to trade me straight up for a card I need... It's better than just going out working out cash. So, trying to collect some dupes that are nice looking. Even um, even collecting other ones because we have a couple guys grading them. So if they got to be in special condition, really good condition, also picking up stuff like that. But I got the Aussie Aussie Newsom on eBay for like super cheap, and it's awesome. It's gradable. Both of them I have nine fives. I would guess. I would have to guess. I looked at them pretty darn close. This one is awesome. Um, so I, you know, I got two of them and I'll bring one to Nats and see what I can find. Uh, always looking to trade up too. I have a Michael Irving that I'll be picking back up at Nats. I have two different dupes now. I wish I would have seen, I had dupes at one time of Ted Hendricks and Jack Ham. I wish I would have saved them. Wish I would have saved them. Who would have known that it would have took off like it did? I was going back through to some of the prices I paid when I first started this set. And they're long gone now. Like a Fran Tarkening for like 24 bucks, You know, stuff like... I, I just... Yeah. I think I picked up the Dave Casper for 19 <laughs> You know? Just just nuts, you know? But it's come a long way and I'm not a quitter. I, lo I love it too much, so... Uh, thanks everybody for watching. I will see you in Chicago. God, I just can't wait. I need a vacation bad. It's fan. It's gonna be you're gonna have a great time. See you there, big E. We got we got stuff to do. Let's go to work. Take care, you guys. Love you.